And that bring, brings us to number nine. So in 2.4 gigahertz, we touched on this earlier, you should use only channels 1, 6, and 11 in 2.4 gigahertz band, and here's why. All right, so uh, here's our band column, and this is showing all 2.4 gigahertz SSIDs, and we're showing the channels. Everybody here, uh, this group is on channel one, Here's channel six, oops, there's something there in the middle of channel four. So if you remember me speaking earlier about adjacent channel interference versus co-channel interference, here's what the issue is. When, when channel one and channel six have access points and client devices talking, there's enough separation between the two so they can both talk at the same time, they're not heard by each other. The distances from the center frequencies are far enough apart that they are uh, like in different dimensions. So they don't cause any collisions. But when you have something going on in the middle, it affects both one and six. S likewise, between six and 11, which has five channels of spacing in between, if you had something in between those two, now if it was to talk, it would cause collisions to channel six and channel 11. For instance, if you're on channel eight or something. So we've identified that we've got something on channel four and we look over here and we see uh, this is an AT&T device. So this is most likely somebody in this school environment has their cell phone with MiFi turned on. And MiFi is like Wi-Fi. So it's gonna have to contend for the medium to transmit it's going to send out beacons 10 times per second, and it's gonna send them out on channel four with no protection for those on channel one and channel six causing collisions affecting everybody's performance. It's not good. And why it is that the manufacturers of cell phones haven't gotten the message yet that we only use channels one, six, and 11, I don't know, but that's the way it is. They seem to have uh, not gotten the message. Okay, so. Channel four up there. Now we look a little further down the list and at marker number five, we see something configured on channel 10. So channel 10 is between six and 11. And again, it has the same adjacent channel interference issues as we had with channel four. So we look over to see who the culprit is and we see, guess what, it's an HP printer. And again, not only are the printer manufacturers unadvisedly and unknowingly to you turning on Wi-Fi in ad hoc mode with no security without your knowledge, but they've decided to use inappropriate overlapping channels as well. So you should do something about that. What do you do? Well, you go in and you configure the channels manually. You just say, go back to one, six or 11. Forget about anything in between that. So this baseline best practice, number nine, fails because channels four and 10 are in use and are causing issues. So here's a little more detail on how to recognize it and what you can do about it.